Hello everyone, welcome to BR Mathematics classes. In this class, we will learn how to find left hand limit and right hand limit of a function. First, left hand limit. Left hand limit. What is the notation of left hand limit? Limit x approaches to a minus f of x. This is the notation to calculate left hand limit of a function. But we won't use this directly and we will convert this limit into this form. Limit h approaches to 0 f of a minus h. What happened here? As x approaches to a from left, what it means? All x values are less than a and very very nearer to a. That is, in class 1 we already discussed the same thing. When x is less than a and very very nearer to a, x can be written as a minus h. What is h here? Very small positive quantity. See, from this, what is h? What is h from this? h is equals to a minus x. As x approaches to a from left, x values are less than a and very very nearer to a. When you take x value less than a, very very nearer to a, you can identify what is this total expression is going to be. As small as x will take, h approaches to 0. This can be understood very easily with one example. Suppose x approaches to 2 from left. What I can write from this? It can be written as x is equals to 2 minus h. Right? From this, what is h? h is equals to 2 minus x. Good. x approaches to 2 from left means what we learn in class 1. All x values are less than 2, very very nearer to 2. Can I take like this? 1.9, 1.99. 1.999 can we take like this yes now substitute these values what you will get what is h value 2 minus 1.9 you will get 0 0.1 0 0.01 0 0.001 what you can identify as x approaches to 2 from left h approaches to what 0 from right so as x approaches to a from left is nothing but h approaches to 0. And what are the x values when x approaches to a from left? x is slightly less than a. That's what we written here. So, limit x tends to a minus f of x is written as limit h tends to 0 f of a plus h. Here, with this example, we will try to find left hand limit of this function. See, left hand limit, L, H, L, left hand limit. What is left hand limit here? We need to find left hand limit when X approaches to 1. Limit X approaches to 1 from left F of X we will take. X approaches to 1 from left means all X values are less than 1. X value less than 1. Which function we need to choose? Here function is defined in two ways. When X is less than 1, we need to choose this function. When x is greater than 1, we need to choose this function. So here, limit x approaches to 1 from left. All x values are less than 1. So we need to choose this function. Yes, choose this function. Right. Now it comes to this form. x tends to a minus f of x. What we will do? This will be converted into this form. What it is? Limit h approaches to 0. In this, wherever x is there in the given function, wherever x is there in the given function that x is replaced with a minus h. So here in this wherever x is there that x is replaced with 1 minus h. So write 1 minus h whole square minus 1. Now by direct method you put h is equals to 0 in this. What you will get 1 minus 0 whole square minus 1 which is same as 0. So left hand limit of this function is what? 0 and now we learn how to calculate right hand limit of a function how to calculate right hand limit of a function see limit x approaches to a plus f of x this can be written as limit h approaches to 0 f of a plus h 
as usual procedure as x approaches to a from right means all x values are greater than a and very very nearer to a that can be written like this this we discussed in class 1 x is equals to a plus h as x approaches to a from right h approaches to 0 like similar case of all how it happened in uh, how what i explained in uh, left hand line meet in the same procedure h approaches to 0 and here what is the x values as x approaches to a from right means all x values are slightly greater than a that's what we take it what is h here very very small positive quantity right now i will calculate right hand limit of this problem right hand limit limit x approaches to 1 plus f of x see x approaches to 1 plus means all x values are greater than 1 so which function we need to choose greater than 1 means we need to choose this function okay limit x approaches to 1 plus what are the function minus x square minus 1 right now this can be written like this limit h approaches to 0 in this wherever x is there that x is replaced with a plus h that is what is a here 1 plus h minus of 1 plus h whole square minus 1 now in this by direct method you put h is equals to 0 what you will get minus of 1 plus 0 whole square minus 1 that is equals to minus 2 so here left hand limit is 0 right hand limit is minus 2 so what we say left hand limit is not equals to right hand limit so what is the limit x approaches to 1 f of x limit x approaches to 1 f of x does not exist because left hand limit is not equals to right hand limit similarly you try these problems your own i hope you will get more clarity on how to calculate left hand limit and right hand limit now we will discuss one easy problem that is limit x approaches to 6 constant 5 is equals to what we will write it as a 5 as it is no way related to x but we will try to know why limit extends to 6 5 is equals to 5 from definition of a limit in class 2 we discussed it. finding a limit of a function is nothing but observing the tendency of the function when x approaches to particular value from left and right here this is the functional value that means f of x is given as 5 that means this function is constant function if you draw the diagram on the number line y is equals to 5 it is parallel to x axis y is equals to 5 the line will be like this see you will take this as a 6 on the number line as x approaches to 6 from left and right what happening f of x values are what its values we will take from here what is this 5 right right so as x approaches to 6 from left and right f of x approaches to 5 from left and right not only x approaches to 6 you take minus 1 so whatever you take its functional values approaches to 5 only that's why limit extends to 6 5 is what 5 limit extends to 100 limit extends to 100 5 is what it is 5 only because constant function even though x approaches to 100 from left and right function approaches to 5 from left and right i hope you find useful information in this video this channel is all about inspiring students that everyone can learn mathematics easily feel free to ask doubts in a comment session thanks for watching this video have a great day ahead